Hello everyone, aloha and welcome to this special time of devotions connecting in this very special way. We just finished three days of fasting and praying and pressing in for this day, this weekend. Like Pastor Kuna shared with us at the start of this devotional time, this special devotional time that we have, preparing our hearts for this weekend, this is a time for us to receive and embrace the love of God for us. This is more than an event. This is our day. This is our weekend. This is really our time to embrace and encounter the love of God face to face with the breath of life breathing into every heart. God wants you to be a part of everything that he's doing, men and women, for your marriages, for your families, for your children. This isn't just for the ladies, although this is devoted weekend for us as women of God, but men of God, this is also for you. In preparation for today's devotion, I have the honor of sharing with you what the Holy Spirit reminded me of, what he's been ministering to my heart, and it really is all about our hearts and what he wants to do to take us to a new place in and with God. I was reminded of Psalms 84. Psalm 84 is a beautiful devotion and the title in the Passion Translation is Longing for God. Today, I want to encourage you with a word from the Lord out of Psalms 84 verse 9 to 10. In the Passion Translation, it reads, God, your wraparound presence is our defense. In your kindness, look upon the faces of your anointed ones. For one day of intimacy with you is like a thousand days of joy rolled into one. I'd rather stand at the threshold in front of the gate beautiful, ready to go in and worship my God, than live my life without you in the most beautiful palace of the wicked. Wow. Does that just open our hearts and our eyes of what God wants to do today? Today is our day that Pastor Kuna had on her heart to make a special time for us to gather together in our devoted weekend of Aloha. This is what it's all about. Longing for the presence of God, embracing His wrap around presence. That's our defense, that's undergirding us, that's strengthening us. His love and His kindness, that's looking upon our faces, breathing His life into our bones. One day of intimacy, this verse says, with God is like a thousand days of joy rolled in together. What does that mean? This one day that we have today, is like a thousand days here on earth. All we need is to open up our hearts to receive His love, open up our hearts to come with expectation of what God's gonna do to breathe His life into our hearts. This is more than an event. This is one day encountering the love of God, taking us to a new joy, a new level, a new love, and a new strength of our relationship in and with God. So let's be ready to go in, like this verse said, going in with our hearts open, ready to worship, ready to receive all he has for us, because this is a marked set apart time just for you. I know each of us long and desire to go to a new level, and this is exactly what God wants to do in this day and in this weekend. He is here for you and he's here for me. Let's open up our hearts and receive all God is getting ready to do. Let's close this time in prayer. Father, we just thank you, and I thank you, Lord, for your word that is alive in every heart. I pray, Holy Spirit, that each heart that is connected with us today, Lord, longs for a new place with you. Lord, one day is like a thousand days of joy rolled into one. And I pray, Lord, that whatever it is that any of us are going through, women, men, children, whoever is connected, Lord, that today your wraparound presence undergirds, surrounds us, embraces us, and ignites us to live for you. So Spirit of God, have your way. We are here for you, Lord. We have such expectation that this is our weekend to embrace the love of God. Lord, have your way. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. God bless you and aloha.